Hello guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome to Java Interview Question Series. So guys, today this is the third program I'm going to cover, which is very, very important. Although it's a very simple uh, uh, problem that how will you reverse an integer, right? So, so far we have seen that, okay, how will you reverse a string? Okay, but how will you reverse an integer now? So reversing an integer, that reverse function will not work, obviously. So what we have to do, you have to use your mathematical skills. So if you're going any company for interview point of view, like four years or up to six years experience guy or sometimes seven, eight years experience guy also, okay, they might ask you this question that, okay, quickly tell me the solution of how will you reverse a particular string, okay? So in fact, recently in Microsoft also, they asked a similar kind of question that, okay, with six year experience guy, uh, for automation testing point of view that okay, how will you reverse a string? Sorry, how will you reverse an integer? Okay, so they just want to check how exactly smartly you are giving the answer and uh, You know how exactly like your mathematics and your programming. Okay, programming skills are good Okay, so it's very simple, but it's a little bit tricky Okay, you have to remember the sequence and the proper Algorithm that you have to remember properly. Otherwise you will be confused totally. Okay, it's look it looks very very simple that okay Yeah, I mean, it's very simple question. I can do it but once you write write it and practice with you know uh, pen and paper then you will realize okay it's not that easy okay so make sure that okay you are doing practice a lot because these kind of questions they might ask you at a time of interview and you will be confused totally and don't be overconfident with these questions i have seen a lot of people they are really good in programming but they don't they don't solve these kind of questions at a time of interview okay so let's start so let me create a class quickly okay reverse integer okay select the main method and click on finish and uh, let's see one i number i have quickly int num is equal to one two three four five okay now what i want i want output like this five four three two one just a reverse number okay so quickly how will you do that so first I'll do immediately I'll declare one reverse variable reverse is equal to zero. Okay, so that I can append I can add Okay, the reverse number immediately to this particular Okay, reverse variable and then simply I'll create one while loop and I'll declare that my num is not Is equal to zero. Okay, my number should not be equal to zero so start the loop with num is not equal to zero until Terminate the loop when num is equal to zero. Okay, so this is my condition that while num is not equal to zero very simple condition I have written like that now what I want simple I'll write like this Reverse is equal to I'll first reverse multiply by 10 plus Whatever the number I have I'll take the remainder of that particular number with 10 like this Okay, and then I'll explain don't worry number is equal to number divided by 10 Okay, now see and once this is done, then I'll print it out of the while loop guys you have to print and I'll simple write like this Reverse number is Plus let's see print number sorry reverse Okay, so first quickly we'll see that what is output We'll see that reverse number is five four three two one and the actual number is one two three four five So we are getting our output properly now how exactly it is working so let's debug this code. So what I'll do on 11th line number, I'll pre I'll put a breakpoint, okay, like this. This is dot. This is called breakpoint debugger point, and I'll run in debug mode. So right click and debug as Java application, okay. And you will see that it will stop over here. So what is the current number value? Num is equal to one two three four five is not equal to zero. Condition is satisfied. So it 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 will come inside the while loop. And I'll step by step simple press F6 or this icon It will move to the next line. It will check. What is the reverse reverse will become 5. How? See this is called reminder Okay, this is called reminder reminder means num reminder by 10 num modulus by 10 It will it means 1 2 3 4 5 if you divide 1 2 3 4 5 by 10 What will be the reminder reminder will be 5? Okay, reminder will be 5 simple Okay so if you if you divide 5 divided by 2 5 modulus by 2 it means 5 with this percentage by 2 Okay, so 2 multiplied by 2 4 and the remainder will be 1 in that case Okay, so same thing. Let's see the remainder will be num modulus 10 remainder will be 5 
okay and the reverse multiply by 10 it means reverse multi 0 multiply by 10 0 plus 5 so the value of reverse will be 5 okay so that's why it's showing if you mouse over on reverse it will give you 5 now in the next line what is the value of num num equal to 1 2 3 4 5 now i'm what exactly i'm doing i'm dividing this num value by 10 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 divided by 10 it will become 1 2 3 4 simple it will exclude 5 and then it will become 1 2 3 4 right so if you see okay so now what is the value of num now 1 2 3 4 again it's not equal to 0 condition is again satisfied it will come inside the while loop okay again it will check num modulus by 10 plus now this time reverse is equal to 5 so 5 multiply by 10 50 plus if you execute this line 50 plus what is the value of reverse 54 right so 1 2 3 4 modulus by 10 it means 4 will be the remainder in that case right 4 will be the remainder it will be divided by 1 2 3 0 and then 4 will be remainder so 50 plus 4 it will become 54 right and what is the value of num again 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 so it will become if you check but the value of num is 1 2 3 now okay so the value of num is 1 2 3 again 1 2 3 is not equal to 0 it will keep checking now the reverse will become okay 5 4 3 so it will become 5 4 3 and then 1 2 3 divided by 10 so num will become 1 2 so it will become 1 2 again 1 2 is not equal to 0 12 is not equal to 0 again it will come inside the while loop it will check what is the value of reverse reverse will become again 543 plus okay numbers multi uh, divided by 10 okay so 5 4 3 2 it will become okay 5 4 3 0 plus 2 it will become like this okay so if you keep doing this and if you execute by using f8 like this it will give you the output is 5 4 3 2 1 now you can put any number let's see i'm writing 5 4 3 like this so it will give you the exact reverse number let's run it see 3 4 5 3 4 5 5 4 5 4 3 2 1 it's giving the exact reverse number okay like this okay so better to store in some long because in long variable why because int is small the range of int is small so i'll store in long variable that will be good i'll store in long variable like this okay now you can store like some long number also like this and if you reverse it maybe it's giving the out of range let's see better to like like this if you run it see it's giving the output like this okay so this is the very straight very important solution this is the same thing that you have to reuse this formula and out of the while loop just print it guys remember this is very very important and don't be confused with this thing sometimes even i get confused okay so please okay i'll simple write one one two three four five okay so don't be confused with this thing it's very important at a time of interview just because of we are overconfident that oh it's so easy uh, uh you know so it's so it's so easy problem i can solve it within two minutes okay it looks easy sometimes it's good that you are solving but don't be overconfident with this thing they will tell you okay give me some different solution for that one more solution so quickly this is the first solution okay this is the first solution using proper algo oh, proper algorithm you are using second solution we will use using string buffer reverse method simple string buffer reverse method so what we have to do first what we have to do first i'll print system dot out dot print ln i'll create new string buffer see in the same line we can do that new string buffer object okay in a string buffer we have to pass the string but we don't have any string we have long so what i'll do simple we have one string method a string dot value of method i'll pass this num over here let's see my another variable i'll declare uh, long num one is equal to one two three four five six like this right and i'll pass num one over here okay number num one a string dot value of num one okay and simple this line will give you a string dot value of num one num one is long it will convert this one two three four five six into okay into a string with double quotes so this will become a string now 
and we know that in a string buffer we can pass a string and a string buffer is mutable object so in mutable object we have dot reverse function is there dot reverse okay simple so if you run it see it will reverse it should reverse see 645321 now okay so let me write 1 2 3 4 5 it should okay now both the output should be 1 2 3 4 5 i mean sorry 5 4 3 2 1 and 5 4 3 2 1 okay so we're using a string buffer also but we are using existing function in string buffer okay so don't give this solution first first give this particular solution and then you can give using a string buffer also you can do that okay guys it's very very simple please practice it especially this particular formula these two lines are the crux of this particular solution of this algorithm okay so please practice it's very important it looks easy but I have seen like last uh, last week uh, one of my friend he, he after with six experience guy he went uh, for Microsoft interview and the first question they asked this question and he couldn't answer that and because of this question he got rejected okay immediately within 10 minutes he got rejected he came out okay although he was really good guy in terms of automation and everything but in the first round they might ask these kind of questions okay so please 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 practice with these things okay and uh, yeah that's it and if you really like this uh, guys uh, particular uh, uh, series that uh, you know uh, java interview question series a lot of interview questions we will be covering okay in future but if you really liked it please share it with others and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much